Hey guys, Isos here. Today we're bringing you a Graves replay. This is DN246 at Silver 4 LO and NA. And it looks like we're getting some early action here. Uh, I don't know why you didn't buckshot as the Graves player there. That would have been a great time to buckshot. You could have hit both of them and probably thrashed with multiple bullets. That was a good buckshot. But you also could have, with Graves, what you want to try to do is you want to try to auto buckshot and then disengage. Especially against the Caitlyn lane because she has so much longer range than you. She's got 650 and you've got 525. Um, another thing in this lane you want to watch out for is you got hit with Pilt over Peacemaker there. And you want to try to avoid that. Uh, that was, you dodged that one, that was really good. Another thing I noticed was um, when you went to attack Caitlyn, you cancelled your attack. So you spent like half the time charging your attack and then you cancelled it. So that's definitely like something you want to try to avoid. Especially against someone like Caitlyn who has low attack speed. Uh, but you have Alistar for heals. Looks like he's not actually getting heal yet. Yeah, that's a mistake by Alistar. But anyway, um, you want to just try to farm this out under tower. And once Alistar has heals... Okay, that was really good. You buckshot attack there. Alistar missed pulverize. It doesn't matter. You got the buckshot um, attack. That was perfect. You need to get Alistar to 3 basically right now. So he can start healing you. And hopefully he doesn't die before then. Okay. Alright. Get her. Get her! Nice! Okay, awesome. That was really good. So basically, uh, Alistar made a play. Even He didn't have heal, you guys were very low, but Caitlyn just got chunked out too hard and she got chain CC basically, exhaust into headbutt, into pulverize, and Caitlyn's all in is terrible early, so that was good. So uh, let's go over your skill build though. You, you went uh, one point in everything, which is not what you want. At level 3, you want two points in Buckshot and one in Quick Draw. So basically, the point in Smokescreen doesn't do anything for you. The, the extra point in Buckshot is a lot more damage, and it only costs 10 more mana. So I think it's like 40 more base damage or something for 10 more mana, which is amazing, because it's an AoE ability. And it's also increased for each bullet you hit with Buckshot, and you can hit up to two bonus bullets. There's three total. So that's just a minor thing. Um, at level 4 you're fine, you've got 2 one, one. that's exactly what you want. And now you should be fine, because you got the kill on Kaelin and you have a sustain support and they don't. So I'd like to see you play a little bit more... Does he not have heal? Okay, he's just not using heal. Alright, well, hopefully he starts using heal. He's gonna punt Thresh into you, I don't really like that. Uh, Mumu's coming, so... Okay, looks like he's dead. Yeah, you just quick drawing there was correct. Um, it's not really anything you can do. I don't know why Kaelin's not attacking Alistar. I guess they want to get you too. Okay, so yeah, I mean, you pretty much played that. I wasn't healing you. Uh, I think staying here is fine if you don't get poked under tower like that. Because you'll get a lot of experience here. Yeah, this is good. So you got ganked, but you didn't get killed, so it's fine. Uh, Caitlyn didn't get the kill either, so that's really good. Okay, so now you're going back. You got a BF sword, you're in really good shape, you've got heal, you've got flash in a minute. Uh, Udyr wants to gank, so you want to just go straight in- oh, he missed his- that's okay, just go anyway. Okay, you slowed Thresh. Okay, she burned heal. Um, I- okay. Are there two heals burned there? No, I must have imagined that. Uh... So that was really good. You didn't uh, use any of your summoner spells. You picked up another free kill. You get dragon here. Like this Caitlyn was basically playing the lane correctly at level 1, but then she got caught, which is really bad, and then she kind of isn't really applying any pressure to you. And you just have such good all-in as Graves. That was a pretty good heal. I would have liked to... S I don't think you healed Alistar, though. So I would have liked to see you heal Alistar. Oh no, you attacked minions! Okay. So right there, you attacked minions twice. Three times, four times, I think. Um, I think you're probably using attack move a little too much. And you're also canceling your attacks. So I think you get the kill anyway though, because minions are OP. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, so um, there was, you know, probably like five or between canceled auto attacks and attacks on minions, probably five or six attacks there you could have landed. Uh, I assume you're using a left click there. You don't want to use a left click if there's a bunch of minions around because it'll attack the closest thing, which is in that case a minion. So, and you also had to burn your flash there. So at the end, 
like you could have got that kill on mummy i think it was mummy without burning flash and then you could have flashed away from caitlin and got to safety um and you could have easily killed Caitlyn and survived if you had just not attacked minions. So that's just something you can think about for the future. That's a really easy thing to do. It's just when there's a lot of stuff around, don't use A left click as much. Just use uh, use your right click or A, A click on top of them. Don't A click the ground. And like, if you wanted vision in this brush, you had a trinket. Like your trinket was up. So use the trinket. And you had, I don't know if you had the ward there, but you definitely had the trinket. So. Uh, you're down about 20 CS on Caitlyn, but that's kind of normal. That's okay. Um, plus your Alistar died that one gank, so... You have four kills. I'm not really too concerned. Um, I really like this right here. This is great. Because you're up items on her, and she, her build is awful. So you should be pressuring her. Like, I would just use collateral damage right now. Okay, see, so like, you use quick draw defensively there? You shouldn't have done that. You should just go all in. Um... You don't have heal, but you can kill Caitlyn. Nope, maybe not. Okay, so let's go over a few things right here. So first of all, <clears throat> the big thing there was you use quick draw defensively for no reason, right? Um, if you look at Caitlyn's build, you have to assess the situation, right? Caitlyn has a zeal and Zerker Greaves, that's it. She has 102 attack damage. You had 180, so you had almost double her damage. So literally you could just walk up and start shooting her and she would lose the trade, right? There's just no way she could possibly win with that build. Right, and she's Caitlyn. Um, another thing that you want to look for is you collateral damage Caitlyn, but you could have e easily hit both of them with collateral damage, right? Um, when they were stacked up here, so you want to look for opportunities to hit multiple people with collateral damage. And at the end there, you were focusing Thresh. If you had just used collateral damage on both of them, Thresh would have already been dead at that point, and you could have turned on Caitlyn. And if you had Quick Draw, it wouldn't have even been close. You would have just trash both of them. Alistar might have died, but it doesn't matter. You would have gone 2-0 instead of 0-2, or 2-1 instead of 0-2. So again, just little things that can basically ensure that you win the all-ins. <laughs> so you're getting dragon here, or trying to. Okay, so you're in an awkward spot here, but... Um, okay, so you're not attacking. That was a great collateral damage. You hit three people. Get her! Nice, get her! Run away! Oh god! Okay, so uh, that was a super good collateral damage. Um, you positioned to hit three of them, but you used quick draw to do it, so you didn't have it up. You don't really need to use quick draw there. Collateral damage is a very large um, area of effect, so you could have just stepped up and hit that. Um, you had the vision for that, that was great. Also, at the end there, when you were kiting, you you could have kited this way or this way, and this way had Brand, so I would have kited that way. I would have kited north up the river, not south, because then Mummy has to go through Brand, and Brand can body block him or just position so he can't hit bandage toss, stuff like that. So always try to kite towards your teammates in an, a situation where you have multiple dis choices and they're all pretty much the same, like whether you go north or south or whatever. Okay. Oh, missed the buckshot, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, we're going on Caitlyn. Where's that collateral damage? There we go. Perfect. Very nice. So now we're going to push this in a tower and get this tower finally. Uh, okay, Uder's here. Alistar went all the way around. <laughs> okay, mummy ulted you. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. You should be careful, though. Don't die to tower. Yeah, just... Oh, God. Push... Uh, yeah, you should probably leave. Yeah. Okay, so that was really sloppy, but um, you didn't die, so good job. Your skill build is great. You're maxing quick draw second. You've got buckshot maxed. Um, the only slight thing I would do different about your build here is uh, most games I would finish Berserker Greaves after Infinity Edge, and that's because you're roaming a lot at that point. In this situation, you actually don't have your tower, so you don't need the tier 2 boots because you're not like roaming around to mid yet and stuff and like you know all over the map. So it's okay that you don't finish your tier 2 boots, but like as soon as this tower goes down, you gotta finish your tier 2 boots, right? And um, I would say by now in most games, both towers bot would be dead, because it's like 20 minutes into the game. This is just a really slow game. So I would probably finish Berserker Greaves um, 
probably 90% of the time I finish them right after Infinity Edge because the move speed is super valuable. It's a really cheap way to get attack speed too. And also, Caitlyn already has Berserker Greaves, so you want to match her, right? You want to try to match the opposing ADC like with their um, what they provide. And she can, right there, like if you had Berserker Greaves, she wouldn't be able to do that shit. Like just step up and auto you as easily because you could move up on her and then quick draw in and burst her and then disengage. That's just like one example. So small uh, alteration to your build. Other than that, you're going Static Shiv. That's perfect. I like that. Caitlyn's build is horrible. Don't ever build that path on Caitlyn if you're playing her. So now you're really separated from your team, but you're trying to come up from behind, which is really dangerous. But you are behind Caitlyn. That would have been a great time to collateral damage. Okay, instead you waited about a second and a half too late, and you only hit one person. Okay, attack. Attack. Okay, so yeah. Um, definitely had a chance there to hit four people with collateral damage, I think, and you hesitated. So you only hit one person. So that's something to think about, is when you have a chance to take your shot, take your shot. Uh, collateral damage is not an execute, like Jinx Alt, or... You know, it's not like Caitlyn Alt, where you sometimes want to wait to line it up and hit the correct target, or etc., etc. Collateral damage is just in-your-face burst damage... Flat damage, doesn't matter if you execute them with it or use it to apply pressure, but the only difference is there are times when you can hit multiple people with it, and the more people you can hit with it, obviously the more effective it's going to be. So um, I would just try to think, like, you definitely know, like, you look for collateral damage opportunities, and, like, you clearly recognize that one, but you, I don't know if you don't know the max range or not, um, that's something you want to practice or research but you want to uh you can clearly identify those opportunities but you can um take advantage of them a little bit more just like in the dragon pit when you identified the collateral damage opportunity instead of quick drawing backwards you could have just stepped left and lined up that same shot so that's just an example so you clearly like know what you're doing you just have to execute a little better um again you still don't have zerker greaves and now this is starting to probably hurt you a little bit because you're going to be roaming from lane to lane in jungle. Um, I know you like getting the BF sword is a big power spike, and like I would consider that. Um, but actually, also let's talk about your overall build too. I would not have got a BF sword there. I would have gone for Last Whisper. Um, I wouldn't have even have the Vamp Scepter, honestly. Like you, they don't have any sustain, so I don't think you need sustain really. Um, I would have just bought potions and got because right now you could have. Berserker's Greaves and most of Last Whisper, I believe. And that's more valuable to you because, again, Graves is all about collateral damage and buckshot, and you want the armor pen for two physical damage AoE abilities. Nasus has a full armor item and Tabby and Warden's Mail. So your positioning here is a little at off, but you got a great flash there. You dodge the incoming Mummy Alt and Thresh nonsense. I like the aggressive uh, quick draw there into the two carries. That was that was pretty good. So positioning here pretty good overall. Um, I don't like the the fact that you that you cast a smoke screen there. I would have liked to see you just auto attack Kaylin, and I think if you had attack moved on her, you could have just killed her because you saw how hard you hit her with one crit. Okay, and then you stuck around way too long and died. And looks like you're, at least your team stopped them from doing dragon. So that's fine. They got a double kill, but hopefully they don't get dragon. Okay, so I would move up with Alistar. I don't know why you're standing here. Okay, you just dashed into Nasus, but Udyr's here, so it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Normally you don't want to dash, in, dash into Nasus. You could have just passed around this way and met up with your team. And then um, here, you want to always. Typically they come from here, right? So you want to be positioned over here instead of down here where you were. Just a minor point for positioning around Dragon. Okay, we're grouped up mid with your team now. You've got level 2 collateral damage. You have no buckshot though, so um, Mumu has armor item and armor item. Nasus has multiple armor items and is incredibly tanky. Uh, fortunately, collateral damage has is an AoE ability, but Thresh also has Sunfire Cape, so it's a lot of armor. The fact that you don't have Last Whisper is kind of hurting you right now. 
It's just not, you know, it's not letting you, excuse me, do your most burst. Like, Engraves is all about the front-loaded burst, so... Okay, you got that. Okay, good. You followed up an Udir, you got the double kill. Payment for your tower, that's good. So now you're going top, that's smart. Push top out, recall. So, okay. Okay, you got Scrying Orb, that's good. Uh, don't, you have Bloodthirster finish, which is just okay. I don't really, again, feel like it's particularly good in most cases, but um, if you focus Caitlyn like that, then it'll be fine. So, Nasus is pushing top. This is not really, you can't 1v1 Nasus, so staying with Brand here I think is fine. So you just do no damage to Mummy though, because you don't have Last Whisper. So we, we want to try to finish that as soon as possible. Hopefully you get it next. Uh, you're standing here baiting. Oh my god, the team fight. Wow. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> should be an easy dragon. Yeah, Wukong into Brand and Graves. That's pretty good AoE burst. Uh, you're going to push this all the way into the base, which I like. And their cast is finally going to come and she's going to flash away. You did good damage to that tower. That was good. There's no real towers to take, so I would just stay near your team. Oh, and why are you going over here? Oh, I would have I would have stayed over here. Um, not that Alistar made a great engage or anything, but if you were over there, Udyr might have gone in. If Udyr was in, I mean, he's pretty fed and you know fairly tanky, so could have maybe picked up a couple kills there for free. I don't know. Okay, we're defending this tower now. Just wave clearing. Once you get less whisper, you'll be in business. Uh, I would have got red buff there, though. It's a free red buff, and you could have gone bot and gotten that farm from Nasus. You guys, you have a teleport in your team, but Wukong doesn't want to teleport. He wants to stay here and alt, probably. They okay, got top tower. I don't think that. Na wow, Nasus killed Udir. Damn. Hmm. Team's backing up. You upgraded your trinket before getting last whisper. I don't agree with that, but can you finish last whisper right now? No. Okay. Uh, I definitely wouldn't finish your trinket. So basically, if we look at your build, they got Baron, right? Um, that was a good collateral damage. Nice. Okay, that was that was a good aggressive flash because you were able to focus Caitlyn, and Cassiopeia wasn't able to burst you. I don't think she was paying attention, but that was good. And you saved your tower, which is more important than even the kills. And you killed them with Baron on, so that's that's great. But just talking about your build again, so going back to the Last Whisper, it's 41 minutes almost into the game, and you still don't... Look, look how long it takes to kill this Nasus. He's just surviving for days. And he's not even focusing you. And 41 minutes of the game, you don't have Last Whisper. Like, you could have had Last Whisper and a Vamp Scepter right now. And it's just like the Bloodthirster and the Scrying Orb upgrade really delayed your build, and you could have maybe saved that tower even. Like, if you had... Because if you had those that item, you could have killed them mid faster. You would have killed Thresh faster, for sure. He has a ton of armor. And, uh... You could have rotated to top. Okay, so you're positioning here. Okay. You like to dash over the wall in Dragon Pit, which is kind of weird, but... It's, it's working out. Get her! Oh, God. Yeah, so... You are standing, like, as still as a statue, attacking Mummy. You want to attack, move, attack, move, attack, move, and go this way, because you know Cassiopeia is over here, and she will kill you pretty fast. Okay, so this is still a pretty close game. It's almost dead even on gold. Oops, why am I watching Cass? Oh, Mummy got the dash on to Brand. Not you, though, so it's not a big deal. Oh. Okay. So, not a great collateral damage. You only hit one person. Okay. Oh god, get away, Graves. Yeah. That sucks. Um, unfortunately, your brand got jumped onto there. And you were standing too close to brand. Oh. And because you were rooted from a mummy, uh, excuse me, mummy ult, you couldn't uh, line up your collateral damage. And you can't auto attack with mummy ult, too. So, I think a big 
thing with this game was just the fact that you didn't have Less Whisper until the very end there, and you weren't able to kill their tanks. I mean, they went all armor items. Because you had, no, you had one AP person on your team, so that makes sense from their build. Um... Okay, let's see what questions you have for me. Uh, just, you said, just point out anything in general. Um, I think I covered pretty much everything. Like, the main thing is, like, you know what you're looking for for collateral, collateral damage, but you're just not lining up your shots as efficiently or taking your shots when you should. So try to think about looking for opportunities to use collateral damage to hit as many people as possible. Excuse me. And as soon as you see that shot, take it. It doesn't matter if they're full health, if they're low health, whatever. Like, just stop what you're doing and line up that shot and try to hit it. Um, use quick draw offensively a couple times that got you killed. Sometimes, too, you weren't um, maybe aware of your surroundings, like when you just stood still and were letting Cass poke you out. Like, you have to respect the fact that she's like a mage and she will kill you if you just sit there and let her dump spells on you. Um, even though it might not seem like she does a lot of damage, because of her damage is like poison, like she does a lot of damage. So just try to respect that a little more. And other than that, yeah, I mean, um, can work on some like mechanical stuff. Uh, not using a attack move ground when there's minions nearby, that would help out a lot. Um, but other than that, I mean, yeah, you played pretty well, and there's just your build order and you know team fighting in general. Uh, you can go over what I talked about in this video, and hopefully that'll help you. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. If you hit the subscribe button above my head that's going to pop up, you'll get an email every time there's a new video. Stay frosty.